All right, I'm Nick. Now, Red Snapper season opens tomorrow. So if you're watching this, this will probably help you catch Red Snapper. We are off of Navarre Beach. We are on the public reef system, uh, Navarre Beach public reef formation or reef formation or whatever it's called. I'm going to show you why anyone can come out here and catch fish, okay? Uh, I've referred to it as the rectangle of hope because it is legitimately it has made it possible for people who don't put any time to come out here and catch fish consistently, which is great because a lot of people don't have time. So it's a cool thing, okay? Um, it does have a lot of boat traffic during snapper season now. People come from Destin, Pensacola, come from all over the place and hammer it. So I want to show you how you can catch fish without pedaling to the one spot you may have found that has six kayaks on it already you can get away from them you can go on any of the clusters and catch fish any day just by knowing how to use your electronics there are 500 individual structures out here right now they are in three different groups uh we'll call it east middle and west and there are clusters in those groups we've done a video in the past where it has the center points, kind of like there's like pins. You'll see them on here when I show you the fish finder. I'll show you, uh, probably show you a photo of it as well. So you can come out here knowing that you are in one of the three squares in the rectangle of hope, and then you can just pedal, right? So here it is. It'll probably flicker a bit, but I'll put a picture up. Uh, you can see these flags, okay? And these are the files that you would download as an email. These are the files that you would download from the video up here the link in the top i'll put a link in the description as well now we're just going to pedal across it right we're going to go to stop scanning we're going to go home we're going to go to sonar we're going to go to side view now we're just going to use side scan okay nothing really fancy is done to these settings are pretty much stock it's probably going to flicker a little bit uh it is what it is you're going to get to see what i'm talking about here in a second if you don't know anything about side scan, the black, we'll start with the center line, okay? Uh, the center line is the kayak, the black is the water column, and we are scanning pretty far out. We don't need to scan that far. Uh, we will bring it down to 100, okay? Now, the white lines on the left and the right, or the solid white areas, white and blue, can't talk pedal and drive you're gonna see structure there's probably some structure there you're gonna see a harder return right so it's gonna make that area look solid we're just gonna pedal in a straight line and try to film it yeah we're definitely some stuff off to our left all right so now we're gonna film the fish finder part we're pedaling along kind of messed up with the touch screen uh we're good to go now so we're gonna put it back on side scan we're just going to start again, okay? We, we just found a bunch of fish right there, but we're going to start again. We found those fish there, okay? But we're just going to restart it. We're going to move on. We're going to find another cluster of fish. And then that way you know that it's not luck. And you can do it too. Very easy. You just need to learn to use your electronics. This solid white line going across means that is where it has restarted scanning and we're off, we're cruising. Remember, look, I'm not using my GPS, so I'm not going to a place that I've ever fished out here. There are that many fish, there's that many pieces of structure. I am just cruising along, waiting to see some kind of structure on the side scan. Look, there it is, right there, it's that quick right there there it is now we're gonna pause it we're gonna zoom up now let's do it oh let's unpause it let's go play real quick we we found it right there okay we're gonna wait till it's further down here we're gonna wait till all that structure right there is further down so when we pause it our information on the left is not in the way let's see if it'll work now pause okay so we can click right there like that we have that structure marked okay remember the bottom's all sand so any difference is there now we're already marking these fish in the column too so if we switch back to 
down scan, they're going to be below us. See, we're already marking some here. They're there. Uh, see them? They're showing up right here. Those are all fish. Trigger fish, red snapper, whatever. We're going to hit the mark button. It'll save it. Uh, there they are. Now I'm going to put this back on here real quick. That way you guys can see that it's not some kind of Houdini editing trick. Still marking them. Uh, I need my knife, which I put away because I was just going to go back to the beach and call it a day. Got my little piece of bait left. I'm going to cut a piece off of here. going to grab the fishing pole obviously if you were out here ready to fish you'd be already better prepared than this bird of prey jig head piece of bait I drifted off them a little bit that's okay just gotta turn around real quick Pedal back up there. Uh, oh, look, there, there they are right there. Look at this guy. This trigger fish is legitimately right here. Look, he's about to come out of the water. So that's the wrong species. We want red snapper, obviously. But you got to catch trigger fish too during trigger fish season. Uh, hold on, let's get back up here where we mark these fish. Got a little bit of a west wind, so we drifted a little bit. Now we're marking that whole piece of structure. And get back on top of the fish though. Remember, just because you have the structure, the fish will swim around it, okay? So let's do a big loop-de-loop. -loop. Bait, some bait right here. Something eating something. All right, we're on top of them. Just gonna drop this down there. Uh, ideally, we don't need to go all the way to the bottom. A lot of times when this falls, oh, that dang trigger fish, get off there. Okay, this is a lot of trigger fish. Let's see if we can get them to come to the surface. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, I just took my bait. They're there all over the place. Hold on. Got another piece of bait. A lot of times, the tails are super firm. Oh look, they're right here still. Look at them. Here they come. Oh, drop my bait, dude. Drop my bait. Look at them. That's how easy it is to find fish out here. Now this is the wrong species right now. Doesn't mean the correct species isn't down there with them. And I'll cut to a clip of doing the same thing and catching red snapper. But let's see what happens here. Let's just drop it down there. We know we know there are trigger fish. They're everywhere. Look at them. Crazy, crazy little dudes. Probably try to eat your hand if you just put your hand in the water. Probably a terrible idea, but Woo, look at them. All right, dudes, go away. All right, so sometimes if you want to get past these guys, you bring them in, pitch the bait out here, let the bait fall. Ideally, see, they're dumb, they're still right here. Ideally, this will go out there and hold on tight. Drag is loose. Oh, something's messing with it. Probably not. Oh, now nah, it's trigger fish. They're still just trying to eat it. They're going to follow it all the way in. Well, they can just. They're relentless. I'm telling you, piranhas of the Gulf of Mexico pretty much ruined our bait. Oh, there's a red snapper right there. Okay, look, the red snapper showed up. Oops. Oh, did they get us? Dang it. 
All right, so remember we're still filming. Oh, we got a little wrapped up there. I'm gonna show you how, another way to get past those guys. We know there's red snapper down there because they showed up. So we're still using this. This is why I typically prefer to use live bait. Uh, we have some cigar minnows here. They're kind of big though. Uh, there's still a red snapper down there. All right, look, I just kind of like squeeze his head, mess him up, make him so he's not as good as a swimmer as he once was. And we know there's a snapper down there. I saw him. So now this dude's taking off down there. Ah, uh, there's red, there's red. All right, look, that red snapper, that red snapper just came up and took it. Oh, come on. What just happened? Oh, we just took it from him. But remember, that was a huge, huge cigar minnow. So if that red snapper only grabbed his tail, it won't help things. If it's a big red snapper, they'll usually eat the whole thing instantly. There they are, right there. Same principle. Putting the bait in there. Look, the red snapper is right here on the surface too. Oh, oh, we're tangled up. Got too much going on. Too much going on. This is why I don't videotape things fish this stuff doesn't happen if you're not trying to video all right we want the red snapper to come eat it up here trying to keep away from fishing fish look there's red snapper right there too look there's a whole everything is right here He's gonna let it fall. Ideally, the red snapper will come up. There he is. What you want? Look, he just took it. He's there. He's there. See? You don't gotta try to take it from him, though. You want him to eat it. Now, all the fish are fighting over it. Pure craziness. But yeah, you can catch fish like this out here super easy all day. Friends are still hanging out right there. Look at him right there. Look at his friends chasing him. go underwater show you guys and then I'm out of here now let's go uh, hold on just real quick we're just gonna take this guy this last piece of bait I have drop him over there we're gonna squeeze his head now watch this Oh, look at that red snapper. Look at him chasing that bait on top of the surface. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. That is what we will come back out here and catch tomorrow.